Hey there everyone, I'm Dust Bunny Avenger, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Slackers Undercover. If you like what you see, don't forget to slap that like button, bash that big old subscribe button, and tickle that little bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any of the awesome. Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers Undercover, and welcome back to Rainswept. Now, just like the others going into this one, just fair warning, this game contains depictions, images, and story pertaining to murder, suicide, and trauma, which may be disturbing to some viewers. So just, if that's one of your triggers, if that's one of the things that you don't like, you don't enjoy, and you just can't deal with, don't watch this. Pass on this one. Check it out later. Ask for a synopsis. Read a... Jump in the Discord and be like, hey, what's going on with the story? I, I kind of want to know, but I don't want to watch. That's fine. That's cool. Just don't put yourself through that. But let's get to it. Continue. The rain swept. We'll be on to day three in the small town with the crazy happenings. What's up, Detective Stone? Yeah, I suppose we should put clothes on. Back to that classic look. That is the look of a gumshoe trying to find answers. Don't don't need a pee today? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He's not smoking a cigarette. Did you run out? Jeez. Alright. First time for everything. Should I leave? Yeah, get out of here, man. Go. Why, why are you asking yourself if you should leave? Good morning, detective. Oh, hey, <laughs> I thought this was someone else. Good morning, detective. We've got a couple of tasks lined up for today. Brad is in Pineview, so we can have a talk with him. Dr. Martinez also informed me that the autopsy report is ready. Mm, let's, uh... Get more coffee real quick. I think I need more coffee. Would you like some? No, I'm good. How you doing today, buddy? Good morning. Ah, uh, back again? Any new answers from the tea today? Say answers are the same, obviously. No, I'm just admiring the beauty. This is so much more fun when it rains. The smell of rain adds so much to it. Petricor. Ah. Uh, What'd you call me? Petricor. That's what the smell of the rain is called. Detective. Oh, wow, you've blown my mind. That's so beautiful. Petricor. I think I need to think over this. I need some time with this. Wow. Well, be seeing you. Mark. Can I get a triple, double latte mocha venti? Hey, Detective. What's up? Just a cup of coffee, Mark. Here you go, how you feeling today? Sleep doing any good? A little better, I guess. A lot of people that visit Pineview have said that coming here was one of the most rejuvenating experiences of their lives. The peace, the mountain air, the fresh coffee, it's no surprise Pineview has an effect on people. Well, here's hoping. Thanks, Mark. Hey, is this like on my tab? Do I have a tab? Got the coffee. Is this free? I mean, I'm an officer of the law. It should be free. Dude, it still looks like your head's on backwards, I'm just saying. Alright, uh oh, oh my mouse mouse work mouse. Uh let's check the autopsy report before we interview Brad. That way we kinda of have an idea of what's going on with the bodies that already happened before we talk to someone with any you know, trying to look for new information. Let's get the information that we have. Let's meet Dr. Martinez to see what the autopsy report can tell us. Alright, we can head to the hospital. Shall we leave now? Yeah, let's not waste any more time. Alright, lead the way. I don't know where the hospital. You live here. You should be showing me. Burr, it's really chilly today. It gets cold here when it rains. It was raining all night yesterday. Who are you? Whoa! Hey, 
you okay, man? Yeah, I just, just got spooked. What a jerk. He was clearly driving beyond the speed limit. Ah, my photos. Don't worry, I'll get them for you. Here's one. Got that. And one more. Found one. Dog. Hey, buddy. Can I have that photograph? Um, I don't want to damage the photo by snatching it. Because if I make a trade, what does a pup like to eat? How about foot? You want some coffee? Hey, do you randomly have dog snacks on you just out of curiosity? Any progress with the case? I can't discuss this with you, William. Yeah, of course. I can't help asking still. I've always been interested in criminal law. I ended up going to law school, but the idea still fascinates me. So much more appealing than the rest of us scrubs do. Working jobs, we don't care for it, just so we can pay the bills. I mean, for instance, look at you. You're a detective. That is awesome. So while you go out investigating in an official capacity, I'm going to keep my ears open as well, alright? I'll let you know if I stumble onto something that could help you. Just stay out of trouble. I will, I will. Just eavesdropping. Nothing illegal. Detective, I heard he keeps collapsing or something. Yeah, maybe it's... Maybe I have, like, health issues? You ever think about that, you jerk? Hey, Mark, do you have a bone or something I could give to that pup there? Need the photo from it, huh? Hmm. I should just dump all the trash can outside. I'll have to dumpster dive. Sorry, Detective. I don't have anything else in the cafe right now. Ah, alright. Thanks, Mark. Y nothing in the cafe. You have nothing a dog would eat. Right, there should be a couple of bones in there. Ugh. This better work. Got it. Puppy. Hey boy, look what I got. Not interested, huh? Can't say I blame you. I wouldn't chew on it either. Would you like something sweet, maybe? Like the sweet, sweet taste of antifreeze. Hi, Grandpa. Who? I'd like to buy one of your donuts. Seriously? Why are you so surprised? I thought you'd never eat them. Actually, I, I, I need to give it to a dog. You see, the dog's got something I need. You want to give one of my do donuts to a dog? Come on, Grandpa, I need help. I'll come back and eat your donut some other time, promise. <sighs> okay, hang on. Here's some biscuits instead. I don't think donuts are good for dogs. Awesome, thanks, Gramps. Who? Nice old man. He, he knows the stuff. I'm over trying to give a donut to a dog. Hey, you want some of this, boy? Oh, you like it, huh? Right, you focus on the donut, I'll take that photo. Got it. That's all of them, I think. Wait, wait a minute, what's this? Hello, what's this car doing outside this house? That's very, very interesting. Oh. Yeah, that's, um, Jack's car. Should ask Johnny what he knows about this picture. Johnny, did you collect this photograph? Yeah, I did. It, it, isn't that Jack's car? Yeah, nice car, isn't it? I was just passing by the day and it looked... Did you see anything else? See anything? No, I just took the photo and. Did you see anyone? Jack, Diane, Chris? No, Chris wasn't there all there that day. His car wasn't. I think Diane and Jack were in the house, but what? 
Johnny, can I keep this photo? It'll really help us out. I think so. I, I got the negative, so I can just make another copy. Do you think we may have any other photos like this that could help us? Like, do you think you may have any other photos like this that could help us? Not really. I don't think which photo... I don't know which photograph would be helpful to you. Hmm, can I have a look at the others? I don't have any more here. They're all up in my room at home. All right, Johnny, can you tell me? <laughs> We're going to ask the kid. Fine, we'll ask the kid. Can I just use numbers instead of clicking? Oh, baby. Where were you on the night of the shootings? I was at home with Granny. I think I was home at like 9 or so. You can ask her about it. Did you know Chris and Diane at all? Not really. I just knew what everyone else did. They, they would fight a lot. They weren't very friendly with the rest of us. Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Unusual? Nothing really. New faces in town, perhaps? Well, there is that Anav fellow. He's uh, he's here on holiday. Stays in the same hotel as you. But I think he came here after that night, so I don't know. Alright, thanks for your help, Johnny. Officer, we got work to do. I know we were on the way to the hospital, but apparently... No one cares about that. Wait, where are we going? Oh yeah, we gotta go back and talk to the guy. I'm just gonna say hi. Detective, you haven't slept in days, have you? I can tell. Is that the case? Oh uh, no, I'm I'm fine. Whatever's bothering you, you've let it come to the surface. You need to be stronger than that, really. What do you mean? You can't let such things take control of you. You have responsibilities, a job to do, a family to support. People will lie on you, so toughen up. I'll, uh, yeah. It really is the only way, detective. That's what I've found, at least. I'll keep that in mind. Whee! Alright, no, actually, where... Uh, that, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I can't say that I agree, at the very least. Oh, you're, you're commenting after the fact. Interesting. All right, um, Jack's Auto is all the way to the left of Cliffview. We're on Main Street, I think, right now. So we should really just go... Oh, no. No. Stupid Windows updates doing weird stuff to my computer. Stop it! See ya, Grandpa! You know... I should say hi. You hear that music, dude? No, not really. Ah, well, anyway, he's a great musician. Or, or was, 1969 to 1996. A person's lifetime of work, memories, and experiences all reduced to that small hyphen between two numbers. It's messed up, man. Ah. Onward! Wait. No time for coffee right now. We got work to do. Oh, that is the coffee spot. So the coffee spot guy is just always outside when we're outside. That's uh, that's a little shady, man. Oh, I can't go this way to get to it. Okay. Okay. So I'm on Aspen Street. Crime scene's that way. How the heck do I get over that way, then? I have no idea how to get over the jacks. Unless I wasn't on... Main Street? Or I was on Main Street? Maybe I wasn't on Main Street. Where, where am I now? Okay, wait. Now I'm on Main Street. Or I was on Main Street. Okay, like... Maybe you won't let me go to Jack's because, uh, technically I am supposed to be on my way to the hospital right now. That may be the case. Okay, so, uh, Central Street. Let's go to the hospital and then we'll, we'll swing by Jack's later. Yeah, you, I'm not going to say I got to you guys. You know nothing. Whoa. 
Teleported. Yeah, with the power of flight. Okay, um... East Hills is the way to the hospital check. But I don't think I've been on Central. I have Barber Shop and Rick's video. I've totally been here. That's overlooked, so that's the uh, way to the hotel. I'm a little bit kerfluffled because it doesn't look like it gives me the option to click here. Okay, my only choice is to go right. Over and over and over and over and over. No need to go there right now. Well, look. You won't let me go the way I want to go. It'd be nice if we had, like, you know, a car. No time for games yet, boys. Later. Hi. Yeah, we've, we've been in all of the plays. Nice to see you again. Bro, jacket, yeah. Let's try this again. So I can't run this way at all, even though it's. <laughs> is, is there any, like, any way? Like, there's no way I can warp anywhere. Like, I know this isn't that kind of a game, but it'd be good if it was. Now, were we just walking to the cafe every morning? Or do we have like a car out here that I, I was just really missing? No, oh, no, I, it didn't look like we had a car out here. Because other than that, it would have given us a, like a, 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 something down here. Okay. So I can't go left for whatever reason. I should really go down and then go. This, it doesn't make sense. Nah. Okay. Getting slightly fluffled. And my mouse. 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 Make me get a new one. I'll get a new one. Just double check the options. Controls. Am, am I missing something? Uh, look at, use, talk to, inventory. Check objectives is in. Alright. Toggle smoking is left control. <laughs> That's what's going on. The control. Alright. Um, uh, open map, open journals tab. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's whenever he makes the sh noise. Oh, we have to look through some of this later. Check Brad Sheriff's meet Brad Sheriff's department. Check out Officer Support Hospital. Well, I for whatever reason can't get to the hospital right now, but. <sighs> let, let's head that way again, and if it'll let us, then it'll let us, and if not, is this, wait, is this where I'm going? Um, okay, Overlook is that way. I want to go here, which is Aspen Street. If it won't let us go to the hospital, then we'll just have to swing by Brad's, uh, the, the sheriff department, and from there, maybe it'll let us go to Brad's, uh, I mean, go to uh, the hospital. percent that is Main Street. Sorry we're getting real uh, just turned around over here. Okay, so Happy Valley is the sheriff, so 100% sheriff place. Do you know why I just go like far left here to possibly get to um, there's any left of the crime scene. Oh, well, I was hoping to get, use it to get to Jack's place, but apparently you guys are crazy. Okay. So he gave me the option to go check out the autopsy report without the ability to actually go check out the autopsy report. All right. So I, I hear you. Whoa. That's a view.
get our car back. It'd be nice. Detective Brad's here. I'm gonna just look at this view one more time. Woo! Alright. Whee! I run everywhere smoking. That's what's going on here. Detective? Michael Stone. This is Officer Blunt. She, uh... Get to the point. I, I had no idea about this incident. I came as fast as I could. It's heartbreaking. I understand. Come on, let's discuss this inside. Where I can smoke. Then we get coffee. Through here, detective. Don't you have an interrogation room here? Not really. I, we'd or, ordinarily use the conference room in such situations, but... That's got a water leakage problem these days. All that rain must be, right? Actually, it's water from the second floor washroom. Sorry about it, detective. The store room, the, the best room we got for now. That's alright. Anyway, bring Brad in. We got a lot to get through. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still in a bit of shock. I just got the news last night. I had no idea. It's a weird time. I'm, I'm getting married in a few days, and I was so stressed out about that. I sent Chris an invitation, not knowing if he'd respond. I hadn't talked to him in months, and then, and then this. I, I can't believe it. I'm shocked. I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm repeating myself over and over. That's all right, Brad. How many years had you known Chris for? Chris, we met during high school. That's when we decided to major in business, and we're lucky enough to get into the same university. He had an act for it. He'd been helping his uncle run his restaurant since he was 12. Uncle? Chris lived with his uncle. He, he took him in after Chris had been shuttled between his parents and foster homes for years. I see. Alright, Brad. I assume you knew Chris well. What was he like? Chris, he, uh... <laughs> he was ambitious as hell. Driven, optimistic. If he felt inspired by something, he'd do anything to achieve it. How was he with people? Did he get along with everyone? Was he a generally agreeable guy? Uh, funny you should ask that. I, I, I really understand him sometimes, you know? He always uh, kept to himself. Uh, didn't want to bother with people. It kind of worried me sometimes. But I, I didn't, but I just didn't understand the concept of introversion at the time, I think. I'd do stuff like skip parties just so he wouldn't get lonely on a Saturday night and bug the hell out of him. Would he get into arguments with people? Short temper or anything? Oh, no, not at all. I don't think I've ever seen him lose his temper. No, he just liked his own company, I think. How well did you know Diane? I didn't really. I only met her a couple times through Chris and after they started dating. Whatever I knew about her, it was mostly from what Chris had told me. She definitely had a power over him, though. He was smitten. I'd never seen him like that. Hmm. Did Chris talk about Diane with you? Did he tell you anything at all? Yeah, he'd share things about the first couple of months. After the New Year's Eve party, she didn't get back to him. He asked for her phone number that night, but she didn't give it to him, and said that find out his number and call him if she wanted to. Uh, the wait, the lack of response, contact, or even a single call drove him slightly crazy. By the time she did call him, he was done. He was completely into her. The uncertainty made him want her bad. Hi! Diane! You look gay. Uh, what? Nothing. Good to see you again. Aw, oh, it's good to see you too, Chris. I didn't think we'd be meeting again, actually. I waiting for you to call. How like how easy the desperate tone, boy. You'd been waiting for. You know, forget I said anything. <laughs> Where are we going? It's a surprise, Chris. It's my turn to show you something cool. I got you something, actually. Oh, really? It's a book. You said you wanted to travel, right? To go somewhere far away? The Dreamer's Guide to the World. The book is written to inspire people like you. That? That's really sweet, Chris. Thanks. 
Well, this is us. Come on. Cleanest bus windows I've ever seen. Right, here we are. I've got something cool to show you, but first, uh, I'm gonna do something really weird while I'm walking, and we'll need that boat. Oh, uh, is that your boat? No. Are we stealing it? We're just borrowing it, Chris. Come on, you're not scared, are you? I know you're not. Nah, I'm not scared. Of course you're not, and you shouldn't be. We're only taking it around for a bit. Plus, if anyone confronts us, I'll talk to him. It'll be no trouble at all. Uh, alright. See if you can get the boat started. Boat started. There's a rope holding the boat in. A bunch of posts have collapsed around the boat. There's no way I'm getting the boat in the water before I clear them off. Pull out. Can't pull this out. I need something stronger to help me out. Uh, turn on it. They fill this up with fuel. I wonder if there's any around here. I was tied to the rope with a pose, and I give her the. Uh, yeah, I, I know. Set inside because you're awesome. Vroom vroom. <laughs> that's that's cute. All right. Excuse me. Gotta get gas. A red truck. I wonder if it belongs to the boat's owner. He's still inside. I don't like this. He could be anywhere. I thought you said you weren't scared. But but what if he has a gun? He doesn't have a gun, Chris. How do you know? I don't. Let's just steal his truck. The car's open. The key's in here, too. There's a few container in the back. Bunch of tools. Those pair of gardening scissors might come in handy. I got the scissors. Now what? Cut something. Take fuel container. All right, got fuel. Fuel, fuel. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm not gonna drive away in a stolen car. That, that actually was a cool option. I, and I say that to be some, not not to be silly, but I could have put the fuel in the car, which kind of makes sense. Fill fuel, fill it up. Awesome. Got the rope. Rope's off. Can't I move this now? Can I pull it out now? Can't pull these out. I need something that's trying to help me. Maybe you should just start the engine now. It starts. The boat is tied to the post with a rope. There's no rope. You are... Mis... Attach rope. Oh, I see what you're doing. Smart. I'm hoping this is the idea. Attach rope. Hope this works. Right now, you use the truck to pull the post out. Uh, no fuel. <laughs> Did you really take all of the fuel out? You dumb dumb. I just imagine every time I hit uh, remove fuel, he's over here siphoning the gas out of this car. <laughs> Drive. Here we go. That was cool. That was vandalism. Remove fuel. Yeah, totally. Not gonna. We can't undo nothing over here. Whatever. Fill fuel. Awesome. An engine. It starts. It push the boat in the water before we get moving. Push. All right, let's go. We just stole a boat. 
Isn't it? I knew you'd like it. I used to come here all the time a few years back. Just to get away from everything. She's still a boat then, too. This is my secret world, away from the real world. Why'd you stop coming? I, I don't know. I guess it really wasn't enough anymore. Am I dreaming? Is this really happening? Ugh, just look at her. Is she even real? Alright, Chris, play it cool, play it cool. Stop being weird. We just stole a boat together. She's pretty real. Single tree out here in the water. This is incredible. Come on, I'll show you my favorite spot. I'll beat you. Is it by the rock? It's probably by the rock. We. Oh, I'm already here. It's been years since I was here last. I'd come and stay here for hours whenever I was feeling overwhelmed. Alone? Yeah, that's the best way, isn't it? Oh. Uh, I'm happy you're here, actually. Oh, come on, that's sweet, but really? I thought you liked your own company. Yeah, I do. But sometimes... I can't really enjoy being alone. It's because a voice in my head starts worrying me that I might be unwanted. And what good is happiness by yourself if the world doesn't need or care about you? If people don't need you, is your happiness alone even valid? Of course it is. So I end up comparing myself to the cool kids like I'm lesser. That messes with me, so I don't really have good time by myself. Who wants to fit in anyways? Mostly, I don't care. I enjoy working and spending time on hobbies. But it's like, what's the point of all the cool things you do or experience alone if nobody cares? And then maybe doing great work would help you be a part of the picture. Maybe fame and recognition could help you claim a place in the world. <laughs> As if great work or fame can make up for personal shortcomings. I've never felt that way. Who cares what the people think? I like being by myself because that means I don't have to deal with them. People can be horrible. Some of them. I'm just not interested in being part of their shitty picture. Screw being admired or accepted, I think. I, looking for that is a waste of time. But also, everyone feels that way, Chris. At least some of the time. Everyone fears the thought of not fitting in. It's not just you. Don't worry. Really? It doesn't feel like it somehow. Even people with fame, despite what you think. Most just don't show it. You're fine as you are. Everyone is. Don't be so hard on yourself. Especially you. You're intelligent, ambitious, good-looking, funny, and... She called me good-looking. And so don't worry. Wait, why am I talking about all this and embarrassing myself? Ah, idiot. What's wrong with me? I should ask her about something about herself. Forget all that. It just bothers me sometimes. It's not a big deal. Tell me about you tell you what, what about me. Tell me about your family and childhood. <laughs> wow. What? You chose a topic I care to talk the least about. Try again. Y your friends? Ah, friends. Yeah? I don't know how I feel about them. Actually, I'm not in the mood to talk about them. Tell me about yours. Uh... I have some good friends. Brad's one, and Emily, you know him. There are a couple other guys that I meet sometimes. But mostly it's just me and Brad. We're pretty close. Good for you, he's a great guy. Dating anyone right now? Say no, please say no. No, it's been almost a year now. Yes. There were some guys. Some were great, some weren't. And? I'm not in the mood to elaborate. Alright. You? Same, been about a year, only been in a couple of relationships. They were fine, nothing worth talking about. I'm not in the mood to elaborate. Hey, I wasn't the one that brought it up. Alright, alright. I should talk her into something else, something she likes. Let's just switch up to number two. 
What are your passions? My passions? Wow. You ask such loaded questions. Well, I... That's okay, I'm kidding. At least you're not... Uh, at least you're not just making small talk. I'm terrible at small talk. I know, Chris. You start talking about fireflies. Hey. Anyway, who... What was it? Oh, my passions. I don't know. I don't think I have any. Hobbies? Things you do in your spare time? Mm, I listen to a lot of music. I like that. What kind? Indie rock, mostly. Trip-hop, sometimes. I listen to all sorts, really. I even indulge in some boy bands once in a while. <laughs> really? Play anything? I own a guitar. Never got past the basic chords. So yeah, I guess that's all. What inspires you? Inspires me? Nothing, really. Not anyone feels inspired the way you do, you know. Is there nothing that even, say, excites you? No, not really. When I was a kid, maybe. Damn. Well, I do like how you ask me these questions, though. I like listening to you talk about these things. I don't know what keeps you inspired, but it makes me happy. So what about you? What keeps you inspired? And well, settle down then. This might take a while. I've never tried describing it to anyone before. It's just an amazing feeling. Random things trigger it. Mostly nature or music or a film. For a second, those things give me a tiny glimpse of something really, really beautiful. I know, I, pro I probably sound crazy, but it's, it's like a vision. It's like a portal to another world, like a life I lived once, maybe in another dimension. It's like falling in love in a way, you know? It, it, it just feels different, magical, nostalgic, almost. Or like a dream. You know how dreams feel beautiful? I just feel that, most of the time. I don't know. All I know is beauty overwhelms me. It's so damn beautiful, Diane. And that's what keeps me inspired. Damn, did I just really tell her all that? Chris, wow. You have a connection with a dream world, and there you are, feeling insecure about the stupidest, most irrelevant things. Like, honestly, who cares about the things like being popular when, when you got that? Hey, grass is always greener and all that, right? Well then, it's a pity that we value the things we don't have. Seriously, you should, just, should be an artist or something. I don't know what you're up to starting a business. Maybe. But I'm good at this business stuff. And hey, it pays the bills. You know, talking about all this, it was actually kind of exciting. Maybe you, maybe you could inspire me. I'd love to. Nobody's really interested in this stuff, usually. I'm very interested. Oh, hey, look, it's, it's dark now. Stars have come out. Whoa. <laughs> How did we miss this while we were talking? Diane, you're incredible for getting me here. Just look at the stars. Look at them. Look at the water, Chris. What? Whoa, the water's glowing. Why, 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 why is the water glowing? Try walking in it. Uh. <laughs> we live near a radioactive plant. Look, you got three legs. It's following me. The glowy stuff is following me. Haha, <laughs> isn't it? It's the best thing ever. Alright, come back. I think we should be heading back now. Really? Now you're worried about going back? It's getting dark. I don't want you to drown or something. Not before I get to know you better, at least. Come here. I'm gonna run around the water for a minute. Whee! No, oh, wait. You, you know what? I'll regret it if I don't do this now. Hmm? Do what, Chris? I... I think I want to swim in this water. Oh, the, the, you, wait, what? This is going to be so freaking cool! He's going to freeze to death. Oh, this is amazing. This, this is... Diane...
After that, Diane disappeared from his life once again. Chris didn't hear from her for weeks. So obviously Chris couldn't believe it when she asked him to come over to her place all of a sudden. That was the thing with Diane, really. And it's that unpredictability that drew Chris in, I think. Hey, Chris. Diane! Finally, I was beginning to wonder if you were ever going to call again. Of course I was. Why don't you just give me your number? This is so inconvenient. I always have to wait. I enjoy it. Anyway, there's no one at my place, and I just ordered pizza. Too much of it. You want to come over and help? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, I don't know why I'm taking the risk, but just come before I change my mind. Risk. So where's your place, and how do I get there? Wow, I, can believe I'm, I can't believe I'm actually here. Shut up. I haven't met anyone at home. I don't know why I called you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure your parents would like me. Yeah, sure. I love this. What, making coffee? Yeah, moments like this. It's raining outside. We're just chilling, making coffee in this warm kitchen. Plus, we got pizza in the way. So, st stuff that's kind of normal. Doesn't make it any less beautiful. Do you always make observations like this? I not always. Only around you, I think. Is it annoying? No, not at all. I, I like it. It's just kind of new for me. Um, where, when are your exams? When do you have your exams? Exams? The ones you've been preparing for so you can study abroad. Oh, right, that, that, yeah, there's a few more months to go. I'm not sure if I really want to make, take them, though. Why not? I'm only taking these so I can get away from this place, but I don't know. Maybe there's a better way? Did you read that travel book I gave you? I didn't really get the time to. I did flip through it, though. Looks really interesting. I'm just waiting for the right moment so I can really enjoy it. You should read it. It's great. Then you can make a plan and work out how to execute it. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll be moving to Pineview soon. I've been looking around, and I've found a couple good places I could move into. The hotel I'm planning to start there? That should also work out. I've met the planning committee and checked out a few possible sites, too. That's great. When do you think you'll move? Next month, hopefully. I really admire you, you know? What? You go out and do the things you want. You just don't let dreams remain dreams. I admire that. Thanks. Where's the bloody pizza? I can't wait anymore. Wow. I don't normally get to just lounge about and eat pizza for hours. I get used to this. <laughs> Why don't you, though? Uh, you know, just stuff. Anyway, thank you for, for coming, I mean. I'm, I'm glad you did. He is speechless. Was it bad? Have I done something wrong? Diane? This is getting a bit close for me. You, you shouldn't... I don't understand. The more you get to know people, the less you can stand them. You said that. Well, that was different. That was before I met you. You don't know me, Chris. When you do, you won't like who you've, you'll won't like who you'll find. Is there something wrong? Something I need to know? I think I think you should leave. Diane, come on. Please, Chris. My parents are probably on their way home anyways. When will I next see you? I I don't know. I'll call you. Okay. Okay. After that, Chris and Diane began to meet a bit more frequently. At the same time, I started seeing him a lot less as well. When did you next see him? Uh, Detective, I need to be somewhere else in a bit. Is it okay if we pick this up again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, of course. Thanks for your time, Brad. 
Yeah, no problem. Oh, we just you just threw me mad cat over here. All right. All right, let's see if it'll actually let us go to the hospital or Jack's place at this point. Where's the hospital? The hospital is down East Hills, which is off of Central, which we were, I think, on-ish? Maybe not. Central. It's over. Wait. Can I go to Central from Overlook? Or... No, I think it was on Aspen Street, just down and to the right, and that would... Aspen just merges into Central Street, it seems. Okay. Okay, I see where this is going. What up, kids? Merges into Central. This is Central, and then from Central I can get to Happy Hills. East Hills. There we go. Let's go see some dead bodies. You know, but in a respectful way that just went through some serious issues. Pineview Medical Center. How old is this building? Old. Very old. But Dr. Martinez makes up for it. He's great. He's in charge of the autopsy. He should be inside. Let's go. There's a door here. Should we go in? Hello, Dr. Stone, Officer Blunt. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Oh, you know, just the usual. This is a sad, sad case. Living in Pineview. I don't do these often, thankfully. Uh, anyway, shall we begin with the report? Who would you like to hear for, uh, about first, Detective? Let's see Chris first. Alright, give me a minute, please. And one more thing. You came bounding out of there like you were hiding in the flipping closet. <laughs> what? I can't let you do this alone, Detective. Do you need my expertise? Well, actually... Doctor, shall we begin? Of course! The victim is Christopher Green, age 26. Here we can clearly see a hard contact wound on the head caused by firing a handgun. As you can see, there's a small, stellate-shaped hole on the right side of the head on the temple. The skin around his back is... The skin around this is black and seared, residue from the gun, and abrasion from overstretching of the skin. This is the entry wound. On his left, you can see a bigger, irregular wound and secondary fracture to the skull. This is the exit wound. A large part of the ear is also missing. Examination of the victim's right hand shows clear traces of gunshot residue. I knew it! Chris's toxicology report shows alcohol content in the system. He did have that glass of wine on the table. The amount indicates much more than just a glass, officer. We didn't find any evidence of that in the house, did we, officer? No. No, no, we didn't, actually. We didn't. Just the one bottle and that one glass. Maybe they'd gone out that night and had drinks somewhere else as well? Good point. Where they could have gone? We should look into that. There is a bar in town. Says they don't see him that often. Maybe there's lies. Conclusion. What do you think, Mr. Dr. Martinez? The trauma to the brain caused by the bullet and the subsequent blood loss were the cause of death. The gunshot residue strongly suggests that Chris was the one to fire the gun. There's no evidence of other person physically forcing him to do this either. No physical marks on Chris suggest any sort of struggle. He shot himself. It's definitely suicide. I knew it, of course. Ha! <laughs> Let's take a look at Diane now, Doctor. Of course. A 
And one more thing. You really should just learn the, leave the light on when you're transferring the bodies around. It would save you time. The victim is Diane Miller, age 24. The large amount of soot, soiling, and burnt hairs around the wound indicate she was shot at close range. Say, maybe a distance of less than 10 centimeters. The victim was shot in the upper abdomen. The bullet traveled through and hit the lower ribs and made its exit through the back. The shock wave from the round managed to rupture the heart without directly penetrating it. This caused a hemorrhage and instant loss of consciousness and immediate death. Jeez. It isn't a sign of struggle on the arms or anything to suggest that Diane may have fired the gun. It's hard to say whether she held the gun at all, but the fingerprints report would probably reveal that. But it's worth noting that there are old scars on Diane's forearm, some more than a few years old. It's possible that she or someone else had harmed her more than a couple of times, possibly using a blade. Is there anything else you can tell us about that? Any more details? It's hard to say anything more about this, Detective. The scars are very old. The toxicology report shows that Diane was under the influence of alcohol during the shooting. Probably from when they'd gone out earlier that night. If they did, yes. Well, what do you think, Dr. Martinez? Well, there's not much to conclude from this other than what I've already discussed. Someone shot Diane from close range. The wound matches the rounds and the gun found at the crime scene. There are signs showing physical trauma from her past, but nothing to suggest there were any physical abuse on the day or in the recent months. Honestly, it could have been Chris that shot Diane. It could have been someone else, too. It's hard to say from these results. Meh, it's pretty simple. They probably just had another one of their arguments on their night out. The alcohol must have not helped either. Chris was probably too drunk. He did pour himself a glass at home. <clears throat> there were two glasses. Doesn't really fit your narrative, does it? Whatever. Maybe he was trying to make up to her. Anyway, he probably poured himself a drink and they continued arguing and she went upstairs to change. In a fit of drunkenness and rage, he grabbed his gun, maybe just to scare her. But when she came downstairs again, he had enough. Before she could say anything, he shot her. He then realized what he'd done in his drunken state and shot himself. That's it. Ryan, please. Doctor, if that's the case, wouldn't there be Diane's blood on Chris from back splatter? Not necessarily. Back splatter depends on a few different conditions. The velocity of the rounds of the region of the wound are two of them. As expected. Anyway, I should get going. Get, got some important work to finish. Uh, we should be heading back too, Detective. Go on, I'll catch up. I want to talk to Dr. Mar Martinez about something. Uh, Alright then, see you soon. Yes, Detective, what is it? Well, I, I've been having recently bad dreams and... Uh, when I wake up, I can't move my body for a few seconds. It's like I'm awake. I'm sure I am, but I can't do anything. I can't move or speak. I also see things. Terrifying things. I haven't slept properly in days because of this. Well, oh, detective, what you're suffering from is called sleep paralysis. It's completely harmless. Seriously? As the name suggests, your body's paralyzed in a sleep, even when your mind is awake. Often people witness visual or oral hallucinations as well. There's nothing to worry about in regards to your paralysis yourself, apart from it being a completely terrifying experience. Gee, thanks. It might be a symptom of another issue, though. When did this start? On my first night here in Pineview. Is anything stressing you out? This case, maybe? It's nothing worse than what I've seen before. I don't think it's this stress, exactly. It might not be the case, then. Try to identify what it can be. Try dealing with it. I could prescribe you some sleep medicines, but I really want you to become dependent on them. It'd be better for you to just try and relax. Talk about anything that may be bothering you, if you made any friends here. Alright, I'll think about it. Whatever it is, it'll only get worse if you sweep it under the rug. Remember, Detective, anything driven underground thrives, and then it festers. So I hope you follow my advice. I'm always here if you need me. Talk to me, anytime! You know, as long as the game will let us go. Uh, Alright, what do we have next? Detective, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah? Officer Watts, it's, it's, it's his birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to him. I thought we could all go out and celebrate it. 
We really don't have the time. Of course we do. It's after work hours anyways. We all need a break, too. Poor Ryan barely gets out much either, he, since he's had his first child. I've been planning to break him out of his dreadfully boring routine for a while now. What about his family? He'll spend most of the day after work with them. We'll only take him out later. He wouldn't even want me there. Of course he would. Don't worry, he'll appreciate the company. So you'll be there, right? Fine. Doesn't really look like I have a choice. Glad you realized that. Cool, I'm excited. We just jumped in from nowhere. Looks like that's it for today. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow, Blunt. Good night, Detective. I hope it is. Whee! No cigarette. Cigarette. No cigarette. Cigarette. No cigarette. <laughs> What's up, dude? Still working on your song? Hey, detective. I need your help again. There's this song I'm having trouble with. It goes, caught in the safety net, meant to break my fall. Killed my by certainty now that I know it all. Mysteries of those cold, dark nights lost. Rising sun of reason. Tends to exhaust, melts the frost, comes at a cost, signals it's time for coffee and toast. Mm, rising sun of reason tends to exhaust, rising sun of reason comes at a cost. I would say it comes at a cost. Rising sun of reason comes at a cost. Hmm, at what cost though? Innocence maybe, or the sense of awe and wonder. I need to rework this a bit, but it's pretty good. Thanks, Detective. Glad I could help. So when do I get to hear these? Oh, there's a lot to be done yet. A lot. Not for a month, at least. Maybe even two. Oh, I may not be here that long. You just have to come back if you want to have to listen, eh? Fair enough. You got me. I'll have to come back and listen to the song I'm helping with. You gotta write me in on the bottom, like co-written by... Detective Stone. What's up, lady? How goes? Hello, Mr. Stone. Sleep well last night? Uh, yeah, the bath helped. I told you it would, didn't I? Quite busy today. Tomorrow's my husband's birthday. Got a lot of preparations to do for a special day. Well, I'll leave it to you, then. Give my best wishes to him. See you round. People have flipping birthdays tomorrow. Jeez, small town. It's in the water. <sighs> Meh. Meh. No bath. No shower. I'm leaving smoke trails everywhere I go. You don't want to let me change out of my clothes at this point. Oh, I see. Hi, you reached Abigail and... Um... Michael. We're not home right now, so please leave your message. Name and number after the beat. Bye! Hey, it's alright. I'm here now. I really am. I'm happy you let me back. When will you come with me? For good. I shouldn't just leave. Or give up. You shouldn't, but you know there's something, nothing there for you anymore. Think about it. I'll be waiting. Oh boy. I think I'm starting to understand Michael's um, thing, like 
the, the way it sounds, it almost sounds like maybe his girlfriend or his wife, like, killed themselves by choice, and now it's kind of like survivor's guilt, like, why didn't you do it with me? Maybe it was like a lover's pack kind of thing, you know, like, Romeo and Juliet kind of way, that they were both going to it at the same time, and then Michael, like, last second afterwards, like, no, 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 no I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, but, it, you know, she had already did it kind of thing, and now there's this this disconnect in his mind where he's like, you know, feels like she's talking to him, like, why didn't you do it, Michael? Why didn't you join, Michael? Man, that's gotta be... Ugh. Damn, my back. I feel terrible. And you're gonna feel worse. Next time. So thank you everyone for watching. Thanks for hanging out. For more news information on what's going on and what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, like us, like the like button, subscribe, and share the video. You need to take bigger breaths when I do that. Anyway, so far in the story, I'm liking it. It's slowly coming together. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I mean, it's weird to think that a man who is so incredibly into the world would take himself out like that but that's kind of what the story seems to be pushing at this point but why even then why I mean I don't know it is, is it mm, I don't know what do I, 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 I you got me game I don't know what's going on anymore you got me all right folks until next time see you bye